Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Chris from MLC. In this episode, we're gonna cover bleed the transmission. We wanna change the oil in the engine. And I would also like to pull the cover off the quick change to find out what gears are in that thing. So I bought, when I bought this Ram for this car, it had a set of gears in it. And well, I've just never taken the cover off to see what's in there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the transmission blood out, which is a two-man job. So since I can't be down there and in there at the same time, I have got him. That's my son. That's Mason. Say hi, Mason. Hi. <laughs> All right, you go ahead and climb in. So I've already got the master cylinder for the clutch filled. So I just need to get him in there and we'll get this thing ready to get blood. Right? Just don't get stuck. Mm -hmm. I'm not cutting you out. <laughs> You're wanting the clutch pedal, which is gonna be the farthest one to your left. Right now it should be just, it's just flinging around. There's no tension to it. Let me get you positioned under the car so we can see what we're doing. Is it starting to feel like it's getting any pressure behind it? Um, very little. Hold on a second, hold it down, let me crack it open. Hold it down? Yeah. All right. Oh. Huh? Yep, there's more there than I thought there'd be. Okay, bumper again. Now it's hardly moving. Say what? Now it won't go anywhere. Just keep pumping. Alright. Okay, hold it to the floor. Okay. There you go. Yep. Now, how does it feel? Yeah, about the same as before. Here, about seven or eight pumps. Okay. And then hold it down. All right. Okay. All right, let off. Now press pump on it. Hold on a second. Hold it? Yep. I think I put a new bleeder in this transmission. Give me one second. Alright. me to keep holding it down right. Let off. Alright. Pump it. Stop. Yeah, it's gonna need a bleeder. Which I think I have one. Yeah, it's crashed. Don't don't press down on it. Okay, so that was a little unexpected. And my luck, I I have the bleeders, but I do not have an easy out. So I'll have to go at lunch tomorrow and buy an easy out so I can get that uh, bleeder out of that transmission. That's gonna be fun. Should come, it, it should come out without too much of a hassle. Not sure why it broke. That is what it is. And that's really been the uh, only hiccup we've had so far with this car. Everything else went pretty smooth. So while we're here, I'll, I'll explain this transmission to you. For those of you who don't know, if you're just stopping by here and you've never messed with one of these cars before, this will be a crash course in Burt, Bren, Falcon, transmission let's have a look at her all right so there is our transmission it's a three-speed transmission it's got two forward gears and it's got one reverse gear now inside that transmission it has a built-in clutch inside the body now that bleeder is for that clutch and with this setup here we have the reverse mount starter and the bell housing and this is a ball spline so how this transmission works like I said you have you have two forward gears and you have one reverse. With this transmission, all it makes it a ball spline is on the back of the transmission where your drive shaft would go in, there is a captured splined receiver. Kind of looks like 
on the front end of your differential where you put the drive shaft into, you got that same little deal there. You just, instead of having a yoke on the front of the drive shaft, you just have a U-joint and you pocket that into that little U-joint cradle. Then you put straps on it. It just looks, it looks like the rear end only behind the transmission. Now that moves in and out, it's captured. It has so much motion. To shift this transmission, like I said, two speeds forward, one speed reverse. There's two shifters in the cockpit. You have one shifter, which is your first and second, and then you have another shifter, which is just your reverse. When you're sitting there, you get in the car, you fire her up, she's running. Uh, say you're wanting to back up. You reach over to whichever shifter you have set for reverse, which is, uh, for this car, it should be closest to your leg, and you push it forward. And now the car is in reverse. Now all you have to do is, this, this works backwards from a street car. I mean, you're in gear and you're sitting there and you're not going anywhere. Now to go backwards, you press in on the clutch pedal. It's at that point, it's like a clutch. The, the more you press the pedal, the more the clutch engages and you back up. Well, then when you get out of your pit stall or whatever, you let off the clutch, pull your reverse shifter in a neutral. Then you grab your two forward gear shifter and you push the shifter all the way forward. And that puts the car into first gear, pit gear. And then you push in again on the clutch and you start to move forward. Now you use that gear to get yourself through the pits and get on the track. So you get out on the track, you run it up about 4,000 RPM, let off the gas, grab that shifter that's in first, and you just yank it all the way back. And that pops you into second gear, and then the car will just take off a little bit. And now in second gear, the motor, you're in direct drive. It's a solid link from the motor to the rear end and you use that gear when you're racing. Now, if you got to slow down and get some caution laps or whatnot, you'll have to reach over and slap it into neutral or push it back into first, because you get down around 3,500, 3,000 RPM, the car will start chugging, it's gonna wanna die. They're really cool transmissions. They don't weigh hardly anything. So we're gonna go ahead, I need to change oil in this thing. So we'll go ahead and dump the oil. I gotta put a new filter on it. The uh, seal behind the drain plug and the transmission's been leaking, so we're gonna replace that too. And then uh, fill her up with eight new quarts of uh, VR1. Yeah, let's get to it. change new X filter eight new quarts of VR1 uh, we got to hold off with the transmission since we got to go buy an easy out for that to get that bleeder out um, oh the other thing I wanted to do was when I bought this rear end it had a set of gears in it and I never have taken the back cover off to see what gears they are so let's go ahead and pull those gears out and uh, see what we have back there. All right, for you guys who may have never seen one of these, what we have here is a quick change rear end. This is a Franklin. 
And what we do is we pull this, this cover off to get to the gears. So if you're wanting to make a gear change, you pop this off and uh, they're right there. Now this rear end, like it's, it's the main carrier or the main ring and pinion gear in here is a 486. But the gears behind this case, this cover, uh, are what determines your final drive. We're gonna have to get the fluid changed in this too. I know this rear end sat for a few years. The rear end that was in this car was a, when this car showed up here, was a rear end out of a asphalt late model. So it had steel axle tubes and just an ungodly large center section. It was all winners, but it had the big stock car products recover. So I knew where this rear end was sitting and it came out of a master built and uh, I was able to pick up the entire rear end, you know, bird cages, everything. For a, Real decent price. There we go. Yeah, there's still some fluid in there. Yeah, because we pretty much just took it off the guy's shelf at his shop and I brought it here. Need to get a new Chester set number four. And the thing is, to, to these gear sets, you have two gear ratios with every one of these. 628. Well, that's good to know. So now we know we have a 628 All right guys, well that's gonna do it for this video. It was gonna be a short and sweet one. We got the oil changed. We found out what gear was in this thing, which is, that's nice. And then uh, we'll have to revisit, tomorrow I'll have to go pick up a uh, an easy out so we can get the, the rest of that bleeder out of the transmission so we can get that done. Mason will be back tomorrow to give me a hand with that. Then Friday, we've got another another late model coming. So I gotta make room at that end of the building for that. I need I need, I need to clean up in here. It's, it's been sort of a wreck. So I need to get that taken care of so we can make room for that car. I think it'll be here Friday afternoon, Friday evening. That car is actually gonna become probably a mainstay for the channel as well. It's it, Well, it's the car I went to Kokomo to watch, the number seven car that we had the, the problems with. Uh, the guy that owns this car bought that car. So there's going to be some videos for that car coming up. I mean, I'm, I think I'm taking it down to the bare frame. It's going to be a rolling frame, but it, it needs cleaned, especially after Kokomo. Yeah, I'll have to get that thing torn down. We'll take it, get it pressure washed, and we're going to go over it, look it over real well, and uh, see exactly what we want to do going from there. Now, there's other shop projects that are coming up, too. There's some work that needs done to the shop. I need to get the walls insulated. There's a wall I'm going to build here across the back of the shop separating me from the guy that I rent the building from. And then the, the shelf in the back, it's it's going to go. But that that's for another video. Uh, I've got one coming up where it's probably just going to be like a talking head video where I just want to sit down and tell you the direction things are going and what my plans are long term for the shop. There's some cool welding projects coming up that I want to do. Uh, there's more Race, star, race car stuff coming up. I need to uh, put in the welding tables and the jig tables. And uh, there'll, there'll be a funny car coming, funny car chassis. So, I mean, we're gonna have a lot of fun. And there's the big project I wanna do over the winter, which we'll discuss that in future videos as well. 
But uh, yeah, I think it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I really wanna grow the shop, grow the channel. I wanna take a moment to thank everybody so far that's been subscribing, watching the videos. Uh, I really appreciate it. I've been having a lot of fun doing these videos. It's really heading in the direction I want to go. We'll see where it goes. But again, I just I really want to thank everyone who's been subscribing, liking the videos, who keeps coming back and watching them. It means a lot. So with that being said, I think it's time to sign off for the video. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. If you like what's going on here, there's more of it to come. Uh, hit the bell icon so you know when I upload new content. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great evening.